Hello and welcome back to my workshop. Uh, I must apologise, uh, I haven't been able to do any filming or any videoing for the last uh, two and a half months uh, because I've been uh, overseas, uh, in China actually, um, doing a lot of work and it's one of the things I want to speak to you about today. Um, but first I just want to draw your attention to uh, my, my stats uh, on my YouTube okay, channel. Okay, so you'll notice the stats on my YouTube channel which I'm really really excited about and I'm quite proud of actually and it's all down to you guys out there downloading um, I've just tripped over 10 million downloads and um, just over 32,000 subscribers. So you can imagine I am really really um, pleased uh, with the response uh, I never thought that uh, it would be anything like this but guys thank you very much and thank you for all the in emails and the comments uh, in the comments section of all my videos and I am taking notice uh, however I haven't been able to uh, respond to very many because there has been so many uh, I, I've come back to over 5,000 emails uh, I've read quite a few and um, this happened the last time I was away and uh, like I say, I am taking notice of what you say. Um, and in response to my channel and the emails that you've been sending me, um, I've decided to do something about it. Um, many of you are asking me where to buy uh, a CNC machine like I've got uh, and which one I can recommend. So uh, with my partner Eddie in China, uh, we have set up a, a sister company uh, which is going to be dedicated to uh, CNC modification kits um, and also uh, CNC uh, router machines like the 1690. Uh, however, they will be heavily modified um, to suit the European and American and Australian uh, markets um, because, shall we say, um, the machines that you can purchase off the internet uh, and I will say at this time um, in the comments section I, I've noticed quite a lot of uh, companies that might make these types of machines are um, answering your uh, comments and telling you where to get a machine from uh, from them they're using my um, <laughs> my stage then as a front to sell their products. Uh, I do not recommend any of them. Please do not take any notice of, of them whatsoever and do not respond to them because you will not uh, be able to purchase uh, the type of high grade machine that I would recommend. I do not recommend any of the manufacturers. I'm sorry to say. Uh, they, none of them come up to should we say European or American standards so this is why I'm doing something about it myself I am in a position where I can do I have the contacts and my Chinese counterparts also have uh, the uh, the right contacts um, one of our contacts is uh, the group SIG from uh, Shanghai uh, we are in uh, quite deep conversations with them at this present time to um, supply us with raw material machines. Um, the type of uh, modifications that we will be uh, uh, investing in into the machines, I'll, I'll just point a few things out to you. Um, this particular 1690 uh, machine is um, a small, it's probably the smallest industrial machine that you can buy. Um, I have made many upgrades to this machine myself uh, to make it perform uh, like it does and be able to turn out the type of work um, that you, you see on my, my channel. Um, but it does have some drawbacks and one of the drawbacks is this whole head uh, assembly here uh, runs on two 
Um, I think they're actually 5'8 uh, round hardened steel bars. Um, unfortunately, you still get some flex, um, so it does limit the, uh, the depth of cut and uh, the speed of which you can uh, run uh, the cut at, uh, because it then starts uh, tool chatter and uh, gives you a pretty crappy finish. Um, so, and, and also, actually, before I go any further, you notice that it runs on uh, rounded rails here as well. They're okay, but uh, the whole gantry does uh, sometimes, fl sometimes flex, uh, especially when I'm doing um, uh, a fourth uh, dimension or rotary axis uh, stuff, uh, machining, uh, when I have the tool uh, all the way up to the top. And uh, yeah, it does tend, uh, I'm operating in the center of the machine or the rail here, gantry rather. Um, so the method of construction of uh, a 1690 uh, that I've recommended, and it, at the moment it's, uh, well, it's further than the drawing board, uh, we're actually in prototype staging. Um, all the, the rails that uh, the X, Y, Z uh, run on are going to be linear rails. Um, and uh, across the back here is going to be um, a solid cast. So the flex is taken all out of the gantry. And um, indeed the whole gantry will be running on linear rails as well. And what is most important is that um, I have um, factored in a single point lubrication which is normally unheard of on uh, small machines like this. Uh, but believe you me, it's quite necessary because you, know, you, you waste a lot of time um, lubricating uh, the machine up in, in all different types of areas. And really, uh, I've located a single point uh, lubrication system with one application uh, uh, pump arm then uh, on the back of the machine. Um, so it will take it up to a more should we say, uh, a fully industrial machine, but at handyman prices. Uh, I've, I've been able to keep the price uh, right down or reasonably low. Um, so all these things uh, add up to a much uh, better stable uh, cutting platform. Uh, in addition, uh, we, we will be providing uh, these machines with uh, a 1.5 uh, kilowatt uh, motor as standard, uh, which is water cooled. Uh, also, uh, we will be having the upgrades to 2.2 In kilowatts. addition to that, uh, we will uh, be having uh, machines like this and uh, small miller machines uh, available uh, with uh, smooth steppers, uh, so you'll be able to uh, connect up to a laptop, run it off a laptop, or uh, uh, use an Ethernet cable, uh, or even uh, uh, a USB cable. Uh, because the modern computers, uh, you know, <laughs> Windows 7 and things like that, um, actually can't take, uh, the, the modern day computers uh, can't take a, a, a um, parallel port. So, um, you know, I, I want to fetch it so everybody's uh, virtually going to have a, a real plug and play. Uh, plug it into your computer, download Mac 3. Uh, I'm uh, negotiating to supply Mac 3 and at cam uh, as well with the product. Uh, so uh, you get a pretty good deal. So um, I'll just take you now on to the next machine which uh, is uh, is going to be shall we say uh, uh, another starter for us apart from the the 1690 uh, CNC uh, router machine uh, we are going to uh, manufacture um, kits for the um, SIG X2 okay there's a little bit of a storm happening outside but uh, uh, hopefully I can talk over it and you can understand everything I'm saying um, this is a SIG X2, uh, manufactured by SIG in Shanghai, China. 
Uh, it is sold all over the world, here in Australia, UK, Germany, France, uh, Amer all over America. Um, it is sold under the Harbour Freight uh, banner in uh, uh, America and also the Little Machine Shop. Um, several other uh, uh, companies sell it under their own brand naming. Um, we uh, intend to do the same but we will sell this with full modifications uh, and uh, what I hope to do over my next series of videos is um, uh, I will design and manufacture a kit to convert this uh, from a geared head uh, to a belt drive head um, so you'll see exactly uh, what uh, you will be getting. Um, actually this machine uh, is uh, faulty uh, because the uh, nylon, I know that the nylon gears are stripped in the head here uh, and I think it's actually a little bit more than that so what I'm going to do for my first video here is we're, I'm going to strip this head down and uh, show you that if you buy one of these machines um, what can happen and what does happen and uh, why there is uh, available um, you know, sort of uh, conversion kits, but uh, I hope to do mine a little better uh, and uh, a little better priced. Um, so this is the first job that we will be doing uh, is to strip this, design and manufacture a uh, kit then to convert this to belt drive. Uh, I also, uh, in the kit that I'm going to provide, is suggest that you take uh, all the gears out from the head uh, entirely. Uh, some of the kits I know are, sub, uh, that, uh, are made uh, leave the gears inside and that can cause some other problems. So um, we're going to reduce it to a, a fairly decent operating machine. Uh, for my second uh, uh, or third video, because I'm not sure how many videos it's going to take for me to uh, actually get this up for you, because I'd You'll, you'll know by my previous videos, I like to show you everything that I can. So um, uh, you get a better understanding of, of what I'm doing and what I'm about. Um, so the next project then, what I will uh, do, um, because I have uh, been into consultation with the manufacturers of the uh, NEMA 23s, uh, this is the, um, the stepper motors, uh, which are normally associated with small, uh, smaller machines. I've been um, able to secure uh, a deal, which, uh, you know, we get them at a very good uh, rate, and I can pass that rate on to you guys. Uh, because, quite frankly, there's a lot of people out there on, uh, shall we say, uh, eBay, that are asking far too much for these sort of things. So um, our prices are going to be very, very competitive and all the savings will be passed on to you guys. Um, so I will then design uh, a kit um, to convert this machine, uh, also the X3 and the X4, the new X4. So um, you'll be so able to purchase the entire kit, um, not just stepper motors from one person and um, breakout board and uh, 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 power supply from another person and what have you. So it'll be a complete kit that you can buy that is just bolt on as much as you can. Uh, obviously uh, with cast iron it, everyone is slightly different. You may have to uh, uh, mill or get an angle grinder and take off some of the uh, cast iron in various places um, because of casting marks or unevenness to get the ball screw in. Um, so it will be um, a complete, uh, complete changeover kit. 
Uh, we will also, we have provisions also to, uh, for you to, to purchase the entire machine ready converted to CNC at a very reasonable and competitive rate. So we'll start off by stripping this head and um, we'll start the process off. <laughs>